hundred seven circuits and electric current. Uh, in this uh, chapter, students learning uh, define current, make parallel and series circuits, investigate about type of circuit used for different purpose, identify a disadvantage of a series circuit, difference between current and energy, explain the effect of electric current in daily use appliances, describe voltage, explain the resistance as an opposition to the flow of current describe the relationship between voltage and resistance list the, the major use of electricity in homes uh, list electrical hazards and precautionary measures to ensure the safe use of electricity at home describe why electricity is dangerous to humans so let's turn we have learned in class 6 that electricity supplies energy electricity can uh, produce light heat sound etc electric electrical energy can help make our life easier there are two kinds of electricity static electricity and electric current we have learned about static electricity in the previous classes here we shall discuss electric current its effect and measurements flow of current the flow of charges through a conductor is called electric current charges travel from one pole to the other uh, to the other pole of an electric source uh, as shown in the figure it has been proved that only negatively charged electrons move from one pole to the other positively charged protons do not move in early days before the discovery of electrons, scientists guessed strongly that electric current was the flow of positive charge from the positive pole of the battery to the negative pole. Scientists still adopt this idea and they have called it as a conventional current. The unit, of, uh, the unit for electric current is ampere. Other smaller units are milliampere and microampere. Electric current is measured by an ammeter. An electric circuit is a complete path along which charge flows. A key can open or close a circuit. Electric current only flows through a closed circuit. Conductors and insulators. The materials which allow electric current to pass through them are called conductors. Metals such as copper, silver, iron and aluminium are good conductors the materials we do not conduct electricity are called insulators rubber glass and uh, sand plastics and wood are insulators types of electric current there are several kinds of circuits but here we shall discuss its two main type series circuits and parallel circuits Series circuits, if all the components are connected one after another in a single loop, then it is a series circuit. In a series circuit, there is only one path for the current to flow. The amount of current which flows through each component of the circuit is the same. Here, uh, the diagram of a series circuit. Disadvantages of series circuit. There is a disadvantage of the series circuit. There is only one path for the current to flow. Uh, break at any part of the circuit stops the flow of current in the whole circuit. Uh, first activity you have need to do for practice. Uh, you will need a battery, uh, three 1.5 volt bulbs with holders, one burn out bulb, connecting wires key. Uh, procedures and connect a battery a key and two 5.1 volt bulbs in a series circuit draw a picture of your circuit in your notebook switch off the key add an other bulb in the series with the other two bulbs switch on the key replace one of the light bulb with a burnout bulb uh, burn out light bulb and things to think how does the brightness of the light bulb change in steps to what happens to the other light in the circuit in step 3 so the next one is parallel circuit if the components are connected in two or more loops then it is a parallel circuit in a parallel circuit there are more than one path for the current to flow 
the current flowing through different branches of a parallel circuit may be the same or different but the current in each branch is less than the total current flowing out from the electrical source in a parallel circuit there are more than one path for the current to flow here is shown in the diagram separately advantages of a parallel circuit over a series circuit a parallel circuit has an advantage over a series circuit there are more than one path for the current to flow a break in any branch of the circuit stop the current flowing through that branch only activity 2 uh, making a parallel circuit you, you will need a battery three 1.5 volt bulbs with holders one burned out bulb connecting wires three keys procedure connect a battery key and two 1.5 volt bulbs in a parallel circuit draw a picture of your circuit in your science notebook switch off the keys and another bulb and a key in parallel with other two bulbs switch on the keys replace on one of the light bulb with a burnout light bulb things to do things to think how does the brightness of the light bulb change in step two what happens to the other lights in the circuit in step three so the next energy transfer in an electrical circuit electric current flow through some things better than other the energy of moving electric charges within a circuit is called electrical energy as charge flow in a circuit some electrical energy always changes to heat energy a light bulb transforms electrical energy to light energy electric bells and stereo players transform electrical energy to sound energy a heater gives us heat by using electrical energy a fan converts electrical energy into mechanical energy you can see in figure 11.6 a fan uses electrical energy to work electrical energy comes from a power station through electric cables how do charges flow the flow of electrons through a conductor can be compared to the flow of water in a pipe connect two cans of water one on the floor and other on the table shown in figure 11.7 the flow of current in a wire can be compared to the flow of a water in a pipe the water flow from higher level to the lower level the potential energy of water in the can at higher level causes the water to flow similarly the current flows from higher electric potential to lower electric potentials the difference of potential between two point is in a circuit or a battery is called potential difference or voltage potential difference uh, potential difference causes the change to move through the conductor Potential difference is measured in volts. Charges will flow as long as there is potential difference between the two points. Every battery has its potential difference between the two points. Every battery has its own potential difference printed on it. For example, a dry cell carries 1.5 volt. Other units of volts are millivolts and kilovolts. Voltmeter is used to measure potential difference. Resistance. Electric current flows through some objects better than other. The measurements of how we, how well something conducts electricity is its resistance. Resistance is a hindrance to the flow of current during its journey through the an electric circuit. The current collides countless times with atoms within the conductor. These collisions uh, results in the hindrance to the movement of the and the unit of resistance is ohm. The resistance of wire depends on the length of the wire and thickness of the wire. Uh, recall the flow of water in a pipe a uh, long pipe resists the flow of water more than a short pipe and a thin pipe resists the flow of water more than a wide pipe long wires have more resistance than short wires Thin wires have more resistance than thick wires so you can see in the diagram water flows more easily through a short wide pipe than through a long narrow Pipe. Similarly, electrons flow more easily through short and thick wires. Relationship between uh, voltage and resistance. Uh, mathematical equations shows the relationship between voltage and uh, resistance. Resistance is equal to 
voltage over current the above equation shows that resistance is equal to voltage divided by the current it is called ohm law in 1827 a german scientist george Simon ohm discovered the relationship between the voltage and resistance in an electric circuits measuring current voltage and resistance following meters are used to measure current voltage and resistance of an electric current circuit an ammeter is the device to measure the amount of current in an electric circuit it is connected to the circuit in series so that the full current passes through it an ammeter does not change the amount of the current in a circuit because it has very low resistance a voltmeter is a device to measure the voltage in a circuit figure 11 10 it is connected in parallel with the circuit the current does not flow through a voltmeter because it has very high resistance a multimeter can measure resistance voltage and small currents this is a multimeter you can see in the figure 11.11 .11. Uh, electrical power and all electrical devices such as fans, blenders, computer sector convert electrical energy into other forms of energy. Electrical power is the rate at which a device converts electrical energy into another form of energy. It, its unit is watt, kilowatt hour. Our electricity bill shows that amount of energy we use during one month. It is taken as kilowatt hour. One kilowatt hour is one unit on the electricity water on electricity meter. 1 kilowatt hour is the amount of energy used up when an electrical appliance is of 1000 watt work for one hour. Effects of an electric current uh, We cannot see the electrical energy flowing in the circuit but if any of the following three things happen we say the electricity is flowing. Heating effect of current when electric current flow through a metal wire it may get hot light is also produced when a wire becomes very hot we use many appliances in our on that current electrical current into heat figure 11.12 a toaster and an electric current current electric energy into heat chemical effect of current an electric current can chemically affect the materials particularly in molten or solution forms uh, when a current flows through a solution, it can break up the solution into its components. This process is called electrolysis. Electricity is also used to coat a metal object with a thin layer of another metal. This process is called electroplating. The rims of bicycles are nickel plated. Magnetic effect of current. An electric current can also produce magnetic effect in a metal wire. A coil of wire around a piece of iron behaves like a bar. Uh, because like a bar magnet when an electric current is passed through it such magnets are called electromagnets and electromagnet loses its magnetism when the current stops flowing through it electromagnets present in the earpieces of your telephone convert electric signal into sounds electromagnets are also used in electric motors activity 11.3 how to make an electromagnet you will need a battery, an iron nail, insulated wire, paper clips. Key uh, procedure wrap the wire around a nail at least 15 turns as shown in the figure. Oh, to make the electric magnet connect the end of the coil wire to each of to each end of the battery. Try to pick paper and slip with your electromagnet switch of the key can the magnet pick up paper clips when the current is off why is electricity dangerous electricity is a part of our everyday life but sometimes it can be that dangerous as electric shocks is a lot painful and dangerous if we follow the safety rules we would be safe and sound don't touch an electric wire which has fallen from power lines never touch electrical appliances with wet hands don't enter any metal object into electric socket 
don't overload power sockets overload sockets can cause fire if a person has been electro electrocuted don't touch the body of that person use a non metallic object to move the victim away from the electro electric wire <laughs> damage in uh, short circuit damage insulations of wires may cause a short circuit a large current passes through the wires which cause the wires to overheat quickly a fire may start as a result of short circuit Uh, electricity and safety by taking precautionary measures we can use electric electricity quite safely fuses a fuse is a piece of thin conducting wire connected in the path of a live wire it gets heated up and melts on passing of a very large amount of current fuses are used to protect houses against short circuit and overloading mcbs miniature circuit breakers Replacing the use a uh, fuse again and again is not a play and experience. So engineers have engineers have developed the alternative fuses that is miniature circuit breakers MCBs. Figure one hundred sixteen. You can see. Uh, an MCB is a small electromagnet switch that works like a fuse, but it does not blow out. It just breaks the circuit by trapping when a current more than its rating passes through it. Earth wires. Additional earth wires protect us from electric shocks. If a short circuiting occurs in a device, current will flow directly into the uh, earth through a low resistance earth wire. In this way, a person's who touches a faulty device will be protected and earth wire is burned in in this way a person who touches a faulty device will be protected and earth wire is burned in the ground three pin plug in the in three pin plug two pins connect the appliances to the main supply while the third pin is uh, while the third one connects the metal cover of an electric appliance to the earth wire in case of short circuiting this third pin helps in sending the large amount of current into the ground elcb earth leakage circuit breaker an earth leakage circuit breaker elcb is a safety device used in electrical installations to prevent a shock an elcb is an electromagnetic switch it quickly turns off the power when the current flowing through the earth wire exceeds the limit if someone tries to use a faulty electric appliances and elcb breaks the circuit at once So this is the uh, end of this chapter and we will discuss here some key points. The flow of charges through a conductor is called electric circuit. The path along which uh, charges can flow is called an electric circuit. In a series circuit all the components are connected one after the other in a single loop. In a parallel circuit the components are connected in two or more loops uh, as there is only one path for the current to flow in a series circuit a break at any part of the circuit stops the flow of current in the whole circuit we use many appliances which can heating chemical and magnetic effects on the of the electric current what is the difference of potential between two points in a circuit or battery resistance is the hindrance to the flow of current the resistance of wire depends on the length of the wire and thickness of the wire and ammeter is used to measure the amount of electric current in an electric circuit electricity is very important for us but it can also be dangerous and electric shock can be fatal for persons we use fuses mcbs wires and elcb for the safe use of electricity